ChatGPT. As soon as this AI chatbot came out, it has taken over the world by a storm, and people have been using it for well, pretty much everything. And if you don't know what ChatGPT is, then I don't know which rock you've been living under. But ChatGPT is a very powerful AI chatbot that has the knowledge of pretty much everything in existence. And in this video, we're going to see how we can use ChatGPT, how we can use AI to our advantage as programmers, as aspiring software developers. So we've been talking a lot about DSA and data structures and algorithm. So we're going to see how ChatGPT will help us learn DSA. Pretty cool, right? So one thing I should say right now is that you should not see ChatGPT as some sort of a perfect being or a perfect, you know, book. It has its imperfections, it's very powerful and it's a great resource, but it is not perfect. So we're going to use it as a resource, okay, because it is a great resource for learning data structures and algorithms. So let's see how we can do that step by step. It's going to be very amazing So watch the whole video and let's get started. So first things first. I've always been talking about how you can learn DSA and the basic part is always the same. So first thing first, what do you need to do? So first thing is you need to get the list of DSA. Let me just increase the font size because so first thing first, you're going to get the list of DSA, which are important for you to learn. So that list will be something like array strings and it'll have advanced topics like graph, dynamic programming, it'll have linked list, stack, queue, etc. And that list you can find on Geeks for Geeks and you can find that list a lot of places. I'll also give a list like that in the description. So you need to have a list of DSA. So this is pretty much a list of what you're going to learn. Okay, now once you have the list for each DSA, you're going to learn it in this way. How you're going to learn with ChatGPT? I'll get to that in a minute, but this is how you're going to learn it. First, you're going to learn it theory. Then you're going to learn it in code. Then you're going to solve problems. So this is the basic part. Okay. You absolutely need to do this, whether you're using chat GPT, whether you're using a YouTube channel, whether you're using anything, this is the basic, this is the basic stuff. This is something that you have to do. If you're learning data structures and algorithm, first, you need to get a list of DSA. What will you learn? That is in the list. Second is how will you learn it? First, the theory then the code, then you'll solve problems. So solve problems. And now the time we've all, the part that we've all been waiting for. So it's very simple, okay? So for array, for whatever language you're using, it's very simple. So let's start simple. Suppose I want to learn what an array is. So I'll explain to chat GPT the prompt which I'll put or the text which I'll put to chat GPT will be something like this. <clears throat> Excuse me, explain the explain array to me in simple terms okay so it says array is a data structure that shows a collection of items of the same type such as number of strings and it gives you a example of an array it tells you how it's important you know what its uses are so you can use this so you can learn theory by this Okay, this is a great way to learn theory. Just say explain dash to me, explain array to me, explain linguist to me, or how does a linguist work? So array is pretty simple. So this is more than enough. Okay, now suppose you're coding in C++ or you're coding in Java, Python, whatever it is. So suppose you're coding in C++. Explain the working. So this part was our theory, right? And if you're not, if you're not able to understand anything in this, just ask it another question. Like what? The how does indexing work? You can ask it and it will explain. So this is the theory part, the first part that we were talking about. Now we want the coding or the code. So explain the working of arrays in C++ in details. Now it will give the code. Let's see. Before we start with the rest of the video, let me tell you about this amazing platform called Cryo. So Cryo is a website where you can learn new skills and get your dream placement. So they have placement courses, they have a course on full stack development and they have a course on backend development and they have the best content that is out there. So they have a course of fellowship program in software development where they teach you software development skills in either backend development or full stack development. So if you are someone who's working in a company and you want to upscale yourself, you want to join a better company or you want to join a fan company, a higher paying company, then you can take this course. 
and they also have a free trial which is the best thing so even if you're not sure about the content of this course you can book your free trial and you can see for yourself the content that they have and not only they teach you about full stack and backend development they also teach you data such as an algorithm and interview focused system design content they also have that so they have everything that you need in order to crack your dream company and you can also check their placement statistics they have general placement of around 6 to 15 lpa and some people even get a placement of 15 to 40 lpa and apart from that they also have a separate full stack web development course and a back end web development course where you'll be working on real time live projects with working professionals so it'll be just like working in a company you'll gain some real life experience by working with these professionals and you'll be able to add these projects to your resume and build your portfolio so you can definitely check these courses out and if you are someone who wants a good placement who wants to join a good company then this is something that I would definitely recommend so go click the link in the description and book your free trial now So you can see that it has explained to you the code very clearly. It is explaining you pretty much everything, how to declare it, how to show elements in it, how to loop through it, how to traverse through it, pretty much everything you have right here. You don't need to Google any place. You don't need to search on YouTube. You don't need anything. This is like right here, everything on a plate. So I think it's done. Now you've understood the theory. Now you've understood the code. You can practice the code in a code editor side by side. You can open online gdb.com. It's a great online compiler. Now you want to solve problems. You're like, I feel confident. I know arrays now. Give me some problems. Tell that to chat GPT. Give me two problems to solve on arrays. You can say even simple. Suppose you're a beginner. You want simple. You want easy. You want medium. You want hard. Explain that in the prompt. Give me two easy problems to solve on arrays. <clears throat> awesome, right? And if you're if you're having trouble in solving the problem, ask it for solution. So this is the easy thing. This is array. And let's be honest, nobody has problem in learning array. It's the most basic, the most simple data structure. What about something difficult like a tree? You know, when I was in college, I was afraid of trees, you know, the traversals, the calculations, MEX, etc, etc. So let's see how it can teach you tree, the concept of trees. Explain tree data structure to me like a beginner like i am a beginner you can explain everything right like i'm a beginner and let's see how good of a job it does and this time we're going to judge it on it It's doing a good job so far, to be honest. <laughs> Better job than a lot of college teachers can, you know. Awesome. Let's ask, can it give us a representation? Can you give us a visual representation? Awesome. This is what I'm talking about. This is the best thing. It gave us a visual representation that this is a tree, my friend. Seven. Seven has children four and ten. Four has children two and five. Ten has children eight and twelve. This is as awesome as it gets. Okay, this is the best resource. Unbeatable. Now you know in theory what tree is. Follow the same thing. Explain tree to me in C++ and give me problems to solve on tree. Now suppose this is enough right you've been uh, doing theory you've been learning code you've been solving problems now suppose you're on lead code let's open lead code so suppose you're on lead code and median of two sorted errors suppose you're on lead code you're solving a problem and you're not able to find the solution so can chat gpt help you 
hundred percent. Let's see how you can take ChatGPT's help in case you're having a trouble, having difficulty solving a problem from Lead Code. So you're gonna see it's not only going to give you the solution; it's going to explain it to explain it to you line by line. So let's see. Suppose that this is the question median of two sorted array. Let me write this down. Oh. So this is a hard problem, comparatively hard problem. I think I've solved this long back. I don't remember, but this is a hard problem. Median of two sorted arrays. Let's see how good of a job uh, ChatGPT does. And we should also tell it that you just need to complete this uh, code so that it doesn't give a function of its own, right? Complete below code. Okay, so it's automatically taking C++ because the code is in C++. So it's able to understand that, which is great. Now, the solution might not be correct all the time. I have explained that in a different video, but if you tell it that the solution is failing, it will automatically correct the part where it's failing, which is something really great. That is machine learning, right? Isn't it? We can try this on right now, you know. Or before trying it, let's just say that, so it's already explaining the code, right? It's already explaining the code. It's not just giving you the solution. It is giving you the code and it's giving you the uh, explanation. But I want, to exp I want to get an explanation of each code, each line of the code, line by line. Explain it. Now let's see. Awesome, isn't it? Now it's going to break it down and then explain it to you line by line. So I'm going to click stop generating for now. <clears throat> You've gotten an idea of how great it is. Now these are my tips on if you're using chat GPT, what to avoid and what to focus on. What to avoid, like I mentioned, is being solely focused on solely dependent on this. Do not be singularly dependent on ChatGPT. There's a lot of great other channels, a lot of great other resources as well. Follow them as well in case if you're having difficulty understanding. Now, speaking of what to do with ChatGPT. So suppose you're online, there's a code, you're not able to understand the code. Copy the code, paste it here, tell ChatGPT, explain to me the code line by line. It's going to do a fantastic job job okay so you can use it like that and if you want you can learn the basics with it it will teach the basics in a very beautiful manner you can even learn the code with it but one thing that you should not use chat gpt for is solving problems because it might become a habit that you it might become a habit that you know you become like uh, it might become a habit for you to you know get accustomed to spoon feeding that someone has to explain line by line of code to you use it for coding use it for solving problems only when you're having a lot of difficulty otherwise try to solve the problem yourself else you'll have a you know you'll get accustomed to spoon feeding someone else you know solution to you which is not a good thing you can use it for learning you can use it for theory you can use it for learning code Solving problems, you can ask it to give you problems, but don't ask it to solve problems for you. That might not be the best case scenario. So I guess that's pretty much it. I have shown you with the example of tree and array. It works on every data structure and every algorithm. So just get a list of the DSA like string, array, uh, dynamic programming, graph, trees, whatever. Get, get the list, which is important. I'll give a list in the description as well because you guys keep asking. For each from that list, learn the theory, learn the code, solve problems. If you do these three things now, you'll become a master of DSA before you know it. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a small video because I have also been using chat GPT for, you know, like coding on a regular basis, on a day to day basis, especially. It's a great tool. It's a great like chatbot, and yeah, you can pretty much use it for learning and mastering coding, programming, and other things of that sort. So that's pretty much it. Do give the video a like, consider subscribing to my channel, and let's see each other in the next video.